Welcome to day four. How exciting. Okay, so we are on nervous system regulation and breath work slash EFT. So today I'm going to explain to you why it is very, very important that we are maintaining our elevated emotions as much as we can throughout the day because we have shifted into this new identity now. The new identity only feels those emotions of that we're playing in that scene from the visualization, the gratitude, happiness, love. They're on the high vibrational frequency emotions all the time because it's like they're living in that movie 24 seven. So what happens when we start to get triggered from our external world? What happens when something shitty happens, like a bill comes and we weren't prepared for it? What happens when, you know, if we lose our job or someone breaks up with us or People are mean to us for no reason in public, things like that. How do we not let ourselves spiral out of control? And this is something called nervous system regulation. Now, anytime you start to feel yourself spiraling away from the good emotions down to the bad emotions. So if you feel like you're having a panic attack, if you feel yourself getting really angry, if you feel yourself getting really sad, feel yourself getting lonely, this means that your nervous system is shifting to a dysregulated state. So the hack to get back into the regulated state is to do nervous system regulation techniques. This is how we can maintain those elevated emotions as much as we can for as long as we can. There's different ways of doing this and I'm gonna share those with you guys today. So again, these techniques are the key to keeping you on track. The more we feel good, the more we can begin to manifest or the more we are manifesting because we're feeling really good and we're, our energy is up at that elevated frequency that we need in order for it to match our manifestation. We want to be feeling good as much as you can, right? Like your life just goes better when you feel good. Shit starts to hit the fan when you feel shitty and your brain spirals out of control. So my favorite nervous system regulation techniques are breath work, the energy freedom technique, which is EFT tapping, um, humming, exercise, basically anything that gets you into a good mood, like just switches you off completely like switches you out of the bad mood so even for example going swimming going swimming always puts me in a good mood from like my pool for example if I'm in a bad mood I jump in my pool it immediately takes my mind off of the trigger and there we go I have a nervous regulated nervous system you can also do things like an ice facial with an ice cube um, but I think the easiest techniques here are going to be breath work and the energy freedom technique so I'm going to run you through how to do both of those and below this video, I'm going to also write down the list of nervous system regulation techniques that you can try on your own. But today I'm going to teach you how to do EFT and breath work. Okay, so for the breath work session, I'm just going to teach you how to do a box breath. A box breath is going to be we inhale for four seconds, hold for four seconds, exhale for four seconds, hold for four seconds. So it's like a box. All right. So we're going to be inhaling through the nose and exhaling out of the mouth. Another thing that I didn't mention that also can get you into a really good mood is listening to music or dancing. So moving your body any way that gets you in a good mood. If you like to sing or maybe you like to just dance, putting on some really good music and getting yourself in the zone. Like after a few minutes of doing this, you'll start to feel better. I love singing and I love just like vibing to music that always makes me in a good mood. Another one of my favorite ways is to go for a walk. I used to struggle with anger growing up a lot and I wish that someone had taught me how to regulate my nervous system when I was growing up. Um, but going for a walk, it takes about 10 minutes, 10 minutes into your walk and you forget why you're mad because your body's moving and it's focusing on the exercise and your blood flow and it's not focusing on uh, the thought pattern of the negative emotion anymore. It's focusing on the thoughts of, okay, I need to take steps forward, steps forward, I need to pump blood all that. So that is why regulating the nervous system is so important. Okay, let's do the box breath. Ready? I'm going to throw on some chill music. I love throwing on chill music while I do my breath work. It puts me into like a more relaxed meditative state. I also like to do my breath work with my eyes closed. So I'm going to go close my eyes while we do this. It's up to you if you want to do that or not. All right. So we're going to do four rounds of the box breath. We're going to inhale for four through the nose. Ready? Go. Four. Hold it here. 
yourself for four. Hold it here. Inhale for four. Hold it here. right into the energy freedom technique so now you can just watch me do this but also you can tap along with me as I as I tap along tap along with me as I tap um yes let me just pull these up okay so how we do the energy freedom technique is we're tapping through the energy meridians of our body while we're saying an affirmation out loud so go ahead and do this with me all right let me put on some of the tunes because I like the tunes while we do this. Do you guys like the tunes? This is called Hand Pan Joe. I'm gonna put the link uh, below to my meditation chill vibes <laughs> Spotify playlist. Maybe you guys will like it. All right, ready? All right, I understand that I am free to let go. Feel safe in my body. I feel safe and secure within myself. My state of being is calm and relaxed. free to feel all of my emotions and then release them. My current circumstances do not define me. I am free to detach. inches below your armpit. It is safe for me to let go. Okay, the last one's gonna be right on the top of her head, ready? I understand that I am the operant power. Yes, queen, tap it in, tap that right into your brain. <laughs> okay, great job guys. So now with the, the EFT, technique you can go around another time and say your own personal set of affirmations love that all right so now let's get to your homework for the day your homework for the day is to practice a nervous system regulation technique throughout the day just one practice one any one of your choosing and then the second part of your homework is really exciting. So I want you to write a letter to yourself from the future version of you. From the future version of you, let's say six months to a year from now, when you have achieved your manifestation, I'm not gonna put a time limit on it because this shit can happen to you literally overnight. So just from the future version of you, you're gonna write yourself, like the present you, a letter. So future you is writing present you a letter. And I want you to give the current you advice. So for example, I would say, Dear Monique, the advice I can give you right now for working towards your manifestation is to just keep going. You're on the right path, something like that. So you're writing a letter to your current self from future you. And I want you to give yourself a, the advice that you wish that you had. The advice from someone who is where you wanna be going, give yourself some advice. That's your homework. All right, I will see you guys tomorrow for day five, the final day of our challenge. Woohoo! All right.